Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. St. Mary Taxi Operator charged with murder of fellow cabby. St. Mary Taxi Operator Brenton Mattis Jr. has been charged for the chopping death of another cabby who he confronted about the alleged sexual assault of a teen girl. Mattis Jr. is being accused of the murder of 34-year-old Nicholas De Costa of Oxford District St. Mary on August 16. Mattis Jr., who is from Bogie in Jacks River, is to appear in court. The police report that around 4.10 p.m. on the day in question, the accused and other relatives boarded a Toyota Probox motor vehicle and went to Arcabeso, where he confronted Da Costa, who was accused of sexually assaulting a teen girl. It is alleged that Da Costa fled in a motor car and was traced by Mattis Jr. and his relatives. The police say the car chase ended in Eden Park in Jacks River, when an altercation between Matthews and Da Costa, during which Da Costa was struck. The police were summoned and the injured man was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Matthews Jr. was subsequently arrested and charged with murder following a question and answer session. The police are seeking the other suspects involved in the incident. Investigations continue. Man packets almost $800,000 mistakenly deposited to his account. A man has been accused of pocketing almost $800,000 that his employer inadvertently deposited in his account and then walking off the job. Ricardo Augustus, who is a driver of a trucking company, is facing a charge of simple larceny. He was denied bail when he appeared in the St. James Parish Court on Wednesday. According to court documents, on July 14, the owner of the company mistakenly transferred $795,000 to the accused man's account as part of payroll. Another transfer with his actual salary was made the same day around 2.17 p.m. When the company realized the error, Augustus was contacted and asked to return the amount of the initial transfer, but he never did and he never showed up for work again. Subsequent calls to him proved futile. The matter was reported to the Era 1 fraud squad and he was arrested and charged. Mr. Augustus, where is the money? Presiding Judge Sasha Marie Simit Ashley asked on Wednesday. At the time of day they contacted me, I already started using the money the accused man applied. When will you have the money to pay over to the people? The judge then asked, but Augustus did not respond. He did, however, tell the judge that there was a gap in the time the funds were deposited to his account and the time when his employers contacted him. The judge then told Augustus that the honest approach would be to meet with his former employer and work out a payment plan. She then asked him if he had any relatives who could assist him as she was not going to grant him bail, he replied no. Smith Ashley then ordered a social inquiry report and postponed its sentences until September 26. She offered the accused some advice. Mr. Augustus, it will go a long way in your favor if these persons are compensated for their loss, the judge said before remanding him in police custody. Several people left homeless after fire destroyed dwellings on Rum Lane in Kingston. More than two dozen people, including a national netball player and her family, has been left homeless after fire destroyed several dwellings on Rum Lane in central Kingston. It is suspected that the fire was started by arsonists. Reports are that residents were awakened by loud explosions and discovered their dwelling on fire. One survivor said she awakened by the cries of her neighbor. And them ratty fire, ratty fire. But them always are fiction over there. So when she asked the fire, me I said, Jesus, them start early again in the morning, man. But then me, she start crying. And she said, for ratty, we'll leave a fire, ratty. So I jump up and I said, no, man, this is serious, man. So when I fly, I'm going to come out the whole place bright like how you see out bright. So I said, no, it's just, so I come out the bed now, come out my house. Why are you done? The whole of this is done. So I run back into my house, the whole of my back part, right? So, done. I'm in my house, I hear something go boom. I lost everything except my life and my kids' same life. I didn't start by before back to school. Everything gone, only thing I got now uniform cars. I never go free from the tailor, because the tailor man no finish it. Poor room, me there the front of so. me have many colleagues behind me. At the beach where I'm a sister room, no, two room in a one. And the whole over there. Lose everything. She no save nothing. Another resident said he was awakened by the heat and was unable to retrieve anything while escaping. The inside there do feel like it, so we jump up. So we look on the roof, we see, holy for fire, so. Couldn't put a jar for nothing, no more. Phone, TV, bed, nothing at all, clothes, nothing at all. Just because we do our run, we lose everything. We don't got to start all over. 
a third victim lamented that she and her three children are now homeless and all the back-to-school supplies she had purchased over the last few weeks were lost in the blaze. When we hear the baby ball out, say fire, fire, we run out of the house and the only thing we could have grabbed up at the back of the water, the pipe side, and give me a cousin. And by the turn around back, my boyfriend come out of the house with the tree pit in them. And all we have to do is try to lick the fence over there and go across the fence because we could have come through the front part of the gate. Everybody was asleep, and the baby, they pan, fire, fire, daddy, mommy, fire, fire. And by we come and him through the water, it blaze more. In six seconds, the house flat. I know the baby, them dramatized. Everything gone, every single thing. Uniform, six school bags, school shoes, textbooks, like everything gone. King of the Dancehall overcomes tragedy with 17 albums, Simo. If ever there were questions about his royalty status, King of the Dancehall being a man cast away all doubts at the launch of his 17th studio album at the lot on Constant Spring Road on Monday night. After Tycho Simo, Beanie Man's latest body of work showcases an artist who, according to friends and colleagues at the launch, continues to transcend time while staying true to his authentic dancehall roots. On Monday night, as fans got a taste of Simo, the music veteran told the tale of how he managed to turn one of his most painful life moments into his musical masterpiece. My mother died after three years ago now, and my dear country down the uh, path and put on my mother because me never bury her, me build a house for her and put her in there so me can go look for her when me feel a mine. Me build a comfortable place where my mother can function, he said, indicating that where he gathered his first thoughts for the album. One of the first songs me think about was Fikali, the prayer with Lucy Culture and Charlie Blocks. The mates from making the album was my therapy. In the interview to Portis, Biniman admitted that he's still struggling to come to grips with the loss of his mother he cherished dearly and said the album helps him to not only express his emotion during a challenging time but also to reassure him of his talent. I'm still in that sadness but music is my joy. Making this album was therapy. I went into a zone and it was nice to put everything together. Mentally and physically doing this album was healing for me, he stated. The entertainer who celebrated his 50th birthday on Tuesday said that after nearly four decades in music, the fans and his passion have kept him going. Honestly, the people him keep me going, and after so many years, they still want to hear me, so I'm just giving them what they want, he stated. I am an artist, you know, and if you're creative, who is doing this thing for the love of it, you will naturally keep up with the times. Sima is me doing that, keeping up to the times and staying relevant. If me not do that, me go drop off, and drop off, no in the thing. Sima is a follow-up to Beanie Man's 2016 project, Unstoppable, and is set for release on August 31. The body of work will feature collaborations from Shaggy, Sean Paul, Louis Culture, Superstar, Hood Celebrity, Charlie Blacks, Dexter Dobbs, Shenzia, as well as international artists, Stone Boy and Mia. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell.